What do you do with all your old music? In this video, I won't be listing a clickbait music production hack with some low effort example in hopes of selling you a plugin. No, I'm going to take this song that I wrote a few weeks ago in objectively the worst EDM genre. and to actually make it into something listenable. Cause despite the cringe, some of the parts had potential, according to you. So stick around and learn from what I do and you too can revive your old music. All right, here's the, the whole song. Let's go like up three. Okay, or what if we start on the f Could be cooking here. So now we'll have something like a And then we would cut drums here. Wait, this bass sounds high, no? And then we just like lower it even more. Then we take off the unison. Oh, that is a poop saw. All right, we got a build up. And if you want to build up your music career, you should release that music. And you can do that using this video sponsor, DistroKid. For only $23 a year, you can upload an unlimited amount of songs to all the streaming platforms available. It's also a great time to be an independent artist right now, especially since Universal just pulled a bunch of their music off of arguably the biggest streaming platform in the world, TikTok. So independent distribution is more important like ever, and through services like DistroKid, it's perfect for that. Plus, you get to keep 100% of your royalties and ownership of your masters. DistroKid also gives you access to the artist side of all these streaming services so you can track your stats right from your phone and stay up to date on all of your streaming data. Plus, since you're watching this video right now, you can get 7% off your first year of DistroKid using my VIP link. Scroll down to the description. It's right down there. Go click it right now, please. Help the channel out. Sign up for DistroKid. Thank you for sponsoring this video. And now let's make a drop. Ooh. That's a good first impact. We 
gonna do like a mm, mm, mm. another trick and then we can like double speed it whoa And then we add this back in. I'm just trying different sounds. You know what I haven't put in yet? Freaking lasers, chat! Or, hang on. I just want the control. Yes. Another idea? One more thing here. We need to use the whistle somehow. Wait, that kind of works. Let's just get rid of all. Let's see if we can capture that flute. Whoa, wait, that's kind of nice, no? Put it on like an amp or something. Um, hang on. Yes. Nope. Crazier. Wilder. Faster. Harder. Stronger. Then, you guys know what I'm about to do here. This is not working for it. We gotta do a completely different lead. Let's mess with this. Yeah. I just... And then triplet kick here. If I match the bongo rhythm underneath this, I think... So then we can like... Oh, this is kind of nice, actually. Copy, paste, and then let's just like run the outro here. <laughs> Remember Target, a tropical house. And there it is, some inspiration to get you reviving your old songs. Just throw it into the Ableton sampler so Actually, no, I take it all back. Bro, I spent like three hours trying to mix this song because I bounced the original fully mastered. And when I put it into the sampler, I forgot that I had my chord rack on. So it was playing chords instead of the individual samples. So it made it polyphonic. Just caused all sorts of mixing issues. Just abort mission. If you're gonna do this, just bounce stems, guys. Not the whole song. Stems, guys. Stems! so they don't have to go to waste. Now go!